Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So in the last video, I showed how to generate this planar toolpath, some of the boundary options, etc. So what I want to do in this video is look at some of the additional strategies that we can use to uh, finish up this part. Now, again, like I talked about before, this face here, uh, we could really do some pocketing or some facing, but one of the strategies we offer in our professional toolpath is called flatlands and one of the things that's really nice about this is we'll choose flatlands and uh, we'll set up our cutter here we'll do zigzag a couple of options and uh, really pretty much with the default uh, defaults I'm gonna just go ahead and compute this and we'll see the toolpath is gonna target all the flat areas of the part and machine them or face them off now in this example here you can see it grab this face here but it also grabbed the tab down here and we really don't want it machining the tab down there okay so one of the options that we have with flatlands is we can come back to our parameters and it says um, minimum and maximum width of the flatland we're gonna say a minimum width of at least inch and a half okay so just by adjusting that value there we're gonna say the flat area has to be at least an inch and a half and um, you can see that tab is not an inch and a half so it removed uh, that toolpath there so this is a great feature for machining the flat areas of the part working directly with the solid uh, we could come in and use a uh, pocket routine if we wanted but with the solid toolpaths it's really easy to just target those areas okay the next thing that I want to look at here is coming in and machining uh, this face here. Now I'm gonna use a planar toolpath. Um, well, really, I wanna use one of the professional toolpaths. So I'm gonna do select geometry. I'm gonna choose select all, spacebar. Next, uh, machining strategy. This is gonna be an advanced planar. Next, I'm gonna go through and set up my cutter. Uh, we have a couple of different options. Uh, zig, zigzag, uphill, downhill. Um, you know, so some pretty advanced stuff here. We're gonna do zigzag. Uh, we're gonna set our step over. Uh, adjust our tolerance. And a couple of other things here as far as our boundary and stuff. But the way that it is right now, I'm just gonna compute it. And again, what we're gonna see is the tool path is generated uh, over the entire model, okay? So instead of cutting over the entire model, uh, we really want to just target this area of the model here, okay? So kind of like what we've done in the past where we've created a boundary, I want to do the same thing in this example, okay? So I want to create a boundary uh, to machine just these faces here. And uh, the way that we can do that is we'll extract our wireframe again, okay? So we're going to do uh, utilities, extract edges single, we're gonna project to Z zero. We're gonna grab this face and grab this face here. We'll turn everything else off. We'll go ahead and blank out our geometry. We're gonna select our lines here. Let's see if this chains. Kind of like before, there's these little, um, these little gaps in the corner. So I'm gonna just join these up. All right. I'm pretty sure I did this in one of the other videos, so you could reuse this boundary uh, or the boundary we used before. I'm just going to go ahead and join these up for this example. All right. One more corner to do. From here to there, we should be good now. All right, great. So now we'll come back into our feature, our boundary. We're going to reselect shift spacebar, and then we'll go ahead and compute. So really all we did is apply a boundary, and now you can see that that toolpath is staying inside of the boundary. Now, one of the things that's kind of nice as well, you can see this linking here, how it's linking uh, in purple, and it's a straight move. One of the options that the planar toolpath does offer is a blended spline link, so we can recompute that. And now what you're going to see is just a smoother transition as it goes back and forth. 
uh, so you can see how we can just come in and clean up that face there and get a nice clean finish you know in the next video we'll talk about a different uh, additional strategies we can use when machining this model uh, until then uh, if you have any questions comments or feedback please reply back to the Facebook the YouTube or whatever video this uh, whatever thread this video may be posted in thank you so much guys